Welcome. I am Lance Earl. My wife is Grace. Together we are The Word Ministries. We just returned from Manti, Utah, where we went down and spent a week participating in a Mormon outreach. That was incredible. I wish I could find words to express to you how amazing this was. Manti is absolutely incredible. It's the people, um, the fellowship, the, the f- not just friends, but family that you have from not just the United States of America, but around the world. The outreach in Manti, Utah was started some 20 years ago, and it has had an amazing impact. The, the numbers, the percentage of Mormons in that county has gone consistently down, down, down. As missionaries pour into that area, and lift the Mormon people up to Christ. Hi, my name is Chip Thompson, and I guess you would say I am the original missionary here in San Pete County. We came here 26 years ago. Uh, to be a light in a dark place was our, our goal. We had no clue what God was gonna do here. And so one of the things that, that we do every year is a, a highlight of our year is the Manti Pageant Outreach. It's not easy to set aside a week or two weeks and go down to Manti. But I have got to tell you, for us at least, the reward was so worth the sacrifice. We make ways to make it work because this is such an important opportunity where people from all over are gathered together who need to hear the gospel in one place. One unexpected advantage of going to Manti was that we shared daily in the most beautiful Christian fellowship with people from all over the country and even all over the world. And so not only is it an incredible time of evangelism, but it's also a really incredible time of fellowship and that's become like a family reunion now. I met so many people that uh, are part of the body of Christ. They're all different, they're all unique. They all have something to share and it was was really fun. One of the incredible things that I found coming and being out here is the unity that you find with brothers and sisters in Christ you've never met before from all over the country. Of all the people that come to Manti, there are a large number of former Mormons who understand the chains, how it feels to be chained down, and the burden that that religion puts on people's backs, and so they want to come. But the Mormons that come, or the the former Mormons that come, come from all different factions. They are from traditional Mormonism out of Salt Lake and from some of the fundamentalist groups that still embrace polygamy and that sort of thing. And they come together realizing that what they have been taught, the way they grew up, isn't right. And they have so much to give. It's really fun to meet these different people from different backgrounds. What really drives me to come out is what I've learned about Mormonism and the history and just the true gospel of the Bible. Regardless of whether the people who come to Manti are former Mormon or Christian who have never been Mormon, their reasons for coming are as varied as their personalities, and they are as beautiful as their unique personalities. Um, I learned that that these LDS people um, are working for God's love, and that completely shattered my heart. Another benefit of going to Manti is the personal growth that we see In the Christians, something happens at Manti that I think doesn't happen in other places. It was fun to watch, and in fact, it was powerful to see. It's it's an amazing opportunity to learn to share your faith and to actually do it with person after person. Another amazing benefit of Manti is that Christians go there expecting to help other people, and in fact, it is they who grow. The growth that happens at Manti, no, I just don't think it happens anywhere else. And so when you're looking at your scriptures, you're looking at your Bible, and you're comparing it with Mormon doctrine, the, the, the truth becomes much more beautiful when you see uh, the evil in its naked deformity. I think the most amazing thing, for me at least, uh, of the whole experience, was seeing God work in the lives of people. I had many people, I don't even know how many people that I talked to, but there were three. There were three, over a three day period, there were three people. I have exchanged contact information with them, I'm, I'm talking with them, we're 
we're, we're developing a friendship and I am praying that the seeds that I was able to plant, oh, I were weak and I'm not very good at it. I am praying that God will now step in for these people who I now consider friends. The main reason that we come is because I really enjoy seeing what it is that God does not only in and through you, uh, but what he does with the people who get saved. It's really cool to see a Mormon on the street, upset at you, and then a couple years later, they're actually on the street with you. I stood back every evening as the pageant started and I could look over literally a, a sea of people that were there to watch the pageant. And, and my heart kind of broke, you know? I thought, man, these people so need Jesus Christ and they don't know it. Obviously, most of the people coming are Mormons, but I've also just this week had conversations with uh, members of polygamous sects and offshoots of Mormonism with agnostic ex-Mormons. And so people from all backgrounds, but have one thing in common. They desperately need Jesus Christ, as each one of us once did. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, I don't have the skills or the abilities to go to Manti and, and speak with strangers about the gospel of Jesus Christ, especially if I have to contrast it with Mormonism. You're wrong about that. You are absolutely dead wrong. You see, we all have gifts. God gave us all gifts, and it doesn't matter what your gift is. It's needed at Manti. God will use you mightily, so come to Manti. If you're thinking that you don't have what it takes, that you don't have the gifts necessary to go and do this, I would ask you one question. Do you pray? There are people who come out that just specifically walk around and pray for the different people, and we need that. Um, God's prayer over the temple, over the conversations, over um, just different people, over the Christians themselves. So many would tell you that the Mormon people are so entrenched that they can't be reached. But doesn't that kind of eliminate the amazing power of God? Trust Him. If you if you think someone can't shake it, the Lord can break through that and, and save hardcore Mormons. So if you're thinking about coming, come. As I visited with people who have been coming to Manti for years, I was impressed with the endless stories of real changes that have impacted people and, and, and had a real effect on their lives for the good. And so if any of you who would be willing, I know it would make a lasting difference for you and through you, God would make a lasting difference in so many other lives. Above all, the thing I noticed most was the love that these Christians have for the Mormon people. You know, the Mormon people, when they see us out on the street, they tend to look at us and see an enemy, but nothing could be further from the truth. So ever since 2001, we've been bringing teams of Christians uh, up here to witness to the Mormons. And although I've never been a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon, God has given me a special uh, place in my heart, uh, a love for these people. One of the most uh, encouraging things that I saw was teams of Christians who came in. There were two teams, I believe, that came in from Texas while I was there. Teams of Christians who gather together, they train, they prepare and they go to, to bring Jesus to people who desperately need them. So that's why I come here. I come here because I love these people and I love seeing what God does in and through believers while we're out here on the streets. So bring a team, come. This is part of what we're trying to do as a ministry is develop groups of people from the Southeastern Idaho area who will travel together, uh, share that time together down there and, and work together to bring more people to Jesus. Just please come. It's really, really awesome. Um, you'll get lots of great Christian fellowship with people who get it and who are not just people going through the motions at church. If you believe, as I do, that our faith should extend beyond the edge of the pew, beyond 
the door of our church, beyond our homes, and out into the world where we share the good news of Jesus Christ. If you believe that that's important, if you believe when Christ gave us the Great Commission in the last few verses of Matthew, that we are to actually take him at his word and go and share his good news, well, then I have something I'd like to share with you, and I would like to invite you to make our ministry the Word Ministries, uh, a matter of prayer, because we need you. We desperately need you. But more than that, there are people who desperately need Jesus, and only you can reach them. So I encourage you, um, from sister to brother, sister to sister, come out to Manti, share love with these people, love on them, hug them. It's interesting, when we go down there, we find ourselves working with a, a, a large number of people from the body of Christ. Well, not large, comparatively it's very small. Some 30,000 Mormons go to Manti every year and there's some hundred or so Christians that show up to give them the good news. It's, uh, well, we're told that we should fish where the fish are and certainly they are there. Think of the, the river pictures that we see, uh, Alaska, there's a bear sitting in the middle of the river and he's scooping fish out just as fast as he can get them, but for every fish he gets, he's passed by hundreds. That is the, the reality of Manti. It's a little bit frustrating to be involved in a really great conversation with one person or a couple or something like that and watch as all of these fish are walking by there. there it's, it's like the bear, you know, you wanna, you wanna help them all, you wanna talk to them all, but you just can't get to everyone. And you know, it takes people of gifts of every kind. You might not feel that you are uh, a street evangelist that can start a long conversation with someone on the street, that's okay. While, while some people are starting long conversations with one person, so many other people are walking by. And if someone's there just to hand them a track, just to drop a little word, that th we need those people too. In addition to Manti, we are developing other trips that we will be taking as a ministry, mission trips where we hope to bring a group of people. You see, the opportunities are endless when you start looking. And we have been looking and we intend to fish and fish and fish. Come with us. You know, I'm not much of a fisherman. I find it rather boring, in fact. But I think that, you know, on those occasions when you really hook into a, a big one, it's pretty incredible. But when you fish and catch a soul, wow, wow. That's a wrap. <laughs>